Great to have your company on this beautiful Friday night around Australia. Now, Queensland mother of three, Tanya Buckland, has been missing since 2013. Police initially believed she disappeared to start a new life, but there's fears she could have been another victim of a notorious serial killer. Here's ex-cop, missing persons expert and host of the missing podcast, Many Carudas, with the details. So this is a tricky case with a number of twists and turns that have hampered the police in their quest to find Tanya and left her family holding on to only the faintest of hope that she's still alive. Tanya was 36 years old when she went missing from Warwick, which is southwest of Brisbane, on August 11, 2013. She left behind three young children who haven't heard from her since. Now, Tanya's parents, who live in the US, and her mother, Sherilyn, immediately flew out to Australia to search for her daughter, who was about to celebrate celebrate her 37th birthday in September. Now, one of Tanya's brothers also travelled from overseas so that his new wife could meet Tanya, but she was nowhere to be found. Now, Tanya's disappearance has baffled and shattered her family, who cannot understand how nobody in a small town like Warwick saw her leave town. Now, Tanya hasn't touched her bank account and her phone was switched off. But she left a handwritten note on the bench inside her home and took $100 cash with her, which led police to initially think she had planned her disappearance. A few months after she was last seen, Tanya's family, the police and the local newspaper received letters purportedly from Tanya, telling them she was alive and safe, but not telling them where she was. One of the letters also contained two time-stamped photos of Tanya, and police were convinced the letters were, le were legitimate because there were references made to family members, including nicknames. The postmarks on the letters showed that they were mailed from somewhere in the Hunter Valley region of New South Wales. Now, Tanya had told her teenage daughter that she was going to go away for a year and was headed for New South Wales. But the fact there has been no further contact or information about Tanya's whereabouts for seven years has her family fearing the worst. And many, what is uh, Tanya's connection to notorious serial killer Vincent O'Dempsey. So some of Tanya's belongings were found in the home of Vincent O'Dempsey, who is currently serving a life sentence for the triple murder of Barbara McCulkin and her two daughters, Vicky, 13, and Leanne, 11. The trio disappeared from their Brisbane home in 1974, but O'Dempsey escaped justice for decades, but was finally convicted of the murders in 2017. The bodies of the three have never been found, and O'Dempsey, now an old man, will die in prison. O'Dempsey lived in Warwick, and had a fearsome reputation. He's a suspect in a number of other murders and once boasted to a friend of killing 33 people. Now, Gleeso, last week I managed to track down Tanya's father, Gordon, who lives in America, and I asked him about the connection between Tanya and O'Dempsey. Gordon said his daughter spent the last three months prior to her disappearance living in O'Dempsey's home. She left on August 11, 2013. He said O'Dempsey had been implicated in the disappearance of multiple people and that he believes the convicted killer had direct knowledge of the whereabouts of Tanya at least in September 2013. He said his wife was collecting Tanya's belongings from his home and asked him if he could get in contact with Tanya. Dempsey said he might be able to. Shortly afterwards, the letters mailed from the Hunter Valley were received, proving she may have still been alive on that day. Now, no one has heard from her since. Gordon finished by saying, we pray she's somehow still alive, but fear the worst, someone out there knows what happened to her. Now, whether that someone, Gleeso, is O'Dempsey, well, he's not saying. He's still claiming his innocence over the McCulkin murders. But until Tanya makes contact with someone or her body is found, we will never know. Now, Tanya Buckland also goes by the name of Tanya Radich. She would be 44 years old today. She's 174 centimetres tall. She has a slim build, light brown hair, hazel eyes and a fair complexion. If Tanya is watching, please contact police or your family to let them know you're OK. If anyone else has information about Tanya's disappearance, then please call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000.